Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another Tip Tuesday. I'm over here in the campground. I'm by my camper, and this week is going to be about getting your camper ready to go. So as you guys know, if you follow along with us, uh, my wife and I are getting ready to take this beautiful beast down to Gulf Shores uh, at the end of this week. So I thought I would go through some of the things that I do to make sure I'm ready to go and everything's safe and secure uh, and take you guys along with it. So, numero uno, have a list. My wife always creates a list. It's, it's all the groceries she wants to take and all the stuff from home. The beautiful thing about these travel trailers and fifth wheels is you can keep a lot of stuff in here. You don't have to worry about putting them in your vehicle and driving them back and forth. But there's always things that you need, some of your creature comforts from home that you need for your camper. So it's always good to make that list so you know exactly what you need before you leave the house and then before you leave here. It's not a bad idea to create a checklist, especially if you're new, it's not a bad idea to create a checklist of things to do with the camper itself. I've been doing it for a while, so I got one in my head, and you better believe my wife follows behind me to make sure I'm doing it all right and point out if I miss something. So one of the first things I do is slide stuff, okay? So come over here. I don't have a lot of trees above my spot, and it's a good time of year right now, but we have had a lot of wind, we've got sticks, broken limbs and everything. So one of the first things that I do before I, I think about anything else is I will climb up, I'll take a broom, and I will clean off the top of the slides. You want to make sure there's no debris up there whatsoever because if you have debris on there when you run it in, it is going to affect the seal on your slide. So I take a broom. If I've got time, I'll wash it just to be on the safe side. But if not, just take a broom, clean up all that debris. Then I do a visual check next to each one of my slides to make sure when I run my slide in, I'm not gonna hit anything. So I know to run this slide in, I have to have someone else out here while I'm doing it to hold that down to get this slide in. So let's look at the other side real quick. So as you can see on this side, I have nothing obstructing me from running my slides in. I'm gonna check them, make sure they're clean. I'm able to run my slides in. Next, what I always like to do before I pull out is I check my tire pressure. Tire pressure is so important. You do not wanna blow out when you're going down the road, so take the time. Um, I actually have TPM, is it TPMF? Tire pressure monitoring system on mine. So it's got a little Bluetooth device. I put a little valve on all of my tires and I can see in real time going down the road what my tire pressure is. That gives me extra peace of mind because I know if they're getting hot, I know if I'm under pressure, over pressure, it just makes life much easier. If not, you don't have to do that. You don't have to have all the bells and whistles. Check it before you leave. Check it a couple of times when you stop. Like we all make rest stops and stuff, check that, okay? So next, I will go inside, typically with my wife, and I'll make sure that we have everything secured. Um, I've got a couple of bottles of vodka in there that are making the trip down to Gulf Shores. I've got those wrapped up. I know they're good, they're safe. Make sure if you have a shower door, especially the glass shower doors, you wanna make sure those are back in the locked position. You don't want, I mean, these things bounce when they're going down the road. You don't want stuff bouncing around, breaking, shattering, anything like that. It's also important on the inside to make sure you've got your slide clearance there. We've got a rug up here in the living room that I actually have to move out of the way because I have two slides in my living room that come in and it squishes that rug. So it's outside rug check, or outside rug check, outside slide check, inside slide check. Okay, and then when I was talking about lists, you could actually have a third list, or I guess you could put this on your second list. Make sure you have all of your stuff for leveling with you. If you're using X chocks, number one, make sure you take them off the tires before you take off, but make sure you've got them with you. If you need ratchets, sockets, anything like that, um, I have a handy dandy little leveling kit that I carry with me. Uh, something like that is great. Make sure you have all that with you. Your uh, pass-through storage is a great place to keep all of that stuff. So guys, that's basically it. It sounds overwhelming, but it's not tough. 
my number one tip out of all of this, if you can forget all the lists and everything else, take your time. Do a thorough walkthrough, have somebody else do a walk around, uh, walk through, walk around, whatever you want to call it. But take your time. You do not need to be in a hurry, especially if you're going on vacation. Let that vacation start immediately. Relax, make sure you do things right. When you're pulling out of spots with uh, patios and stuff, it's very important. Take your time, go slow, communicate well with your spouse or your helper that's pulling you out, and just have a great time because that's what camping's all about. Guys, thanks for watching this week's Tips to Tip Tuesday. I can't talk today. Thanks for watching this week's Tip Tuesday. As always, if you have questions, you want to see examples of the lists and stuff that we use, let us know in the comments. And hey, happy camping.